Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to use Streak. It's a CRM that sits inside of your Gmail inbox. I discovered Streak via Alex Berman, who's, who's uh, the CEO of Experiment 27. It's a bit of a clunky uh, soft piece of software, but it's really, really powerful and really useful. So you would install Streak from the Streak website. It adds it to your Gmail inbox. So it creates pipelines, gets you different options. The concept of pipeline is whenever you're doing a campaign, whenever you're doing a group of invites or anything like that, so you see I have a few from the past right here, you would create a new one. Typically pick, pick sales CRM. Uh, you don't pay if you use private, so it's better to use private unless you're working on a team and that's really useful for you. So you'd create the pipeline. So it gets you the, this a uh, little bit overwhelming interface where you get to see the different stage. Uh, it's typically done for sales, but you could modify it for us. So we would do lead, contacted. I would rename this one, um, for example, interview scheduling. I would add this one, rename it scheduled. I would add this one and call it interviewed. So it makes it really visible, visual, how you can track different contacts. So this one is to follow up. And this one will be uh, declined. So you could add different steps if you need. That's that's one way to do it, and it gets you this, these different steps. So you can really track wherever what what stage your different contacts are in. So I've already created a list of leads, and it's I'm doing this in Google Doc because there's actually a, an add-on that you can 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 get called Streak CRM Importer. You need to structure your data a little bit. So in this case, I'm only using email address, all fake email address, obviously, first name. And also a little bit of custom text that I want to use with each email. So to import that in my streak, it's also good to uh, add columns when you're adding custom text because it doesn't handle it perfectly. So in this case, custom text. And I'll show you why in a few seconds. So you would click start importing. And then you just need to configure it. So you need to, to tell it where to send the information. This is basically like a big database where you send the information in uh, a database that's added to your, to, uh, I didn't give it a name, so it's the sales CRM. In this case, I click next. Uh, the concept of a box is like, is one user. So a box is, is one contact. So in this case, I'll tell it, this is the first name. Custom text goes to custom text. So there's some intelligence there as well. Click next, and then you choose the contact. So you could add different type of information. So you can actually get quite, uh, quite deep in terms of uh, customization of emails. Click next, do this. I can skip this. This is not really useful. Uh, it's always good to look at this so updating existing box because you could update the information from from here. And uh, that's it. It checks for errors. If it works, it helps you import it. So here it found nine new boxes that will be created. So I have nine different contacts. And if I flip back in this, I can see the contacts when they're added. So I see that they've been added as leads and I get these different contacts. So I also use Yesware. They don't really work well together. So I usually deactivate this. And based on this, I would actually, if you go to, if you load your pipeline, you can actually send, uh, if you select your contacts, you can send mail merge, which is basically a, a group email 
using different variables, get to see all your contacts. So if I write an email, I and I add a variable, I can get the box name, this one. And you see if I over or over these ones, it will just display different type of information. And then I could add my custom text, which I put as custom. So this one here, again, it shows me the information that I selected. Thank you. And you could add, um, you could also add in the title if you want any variables that you have. So once you do this, Cliff, Mike, how's this? Hi, Mike. I love the mm, on your name or. I love the name Grow the Dream. So whatever you have like this, and you could send your email. If I decide to, I can also decide to send it later. I can decide to send it now. And if you do send it, which technically should bounce, it will basically, it batches them. So it sends them one after the other to make sure that it's not perceived as spam or anything like that. And it gets you a read receipt if the users are open the email. So you can see that straight from your inbox. So it's very, very useful. The, the, uh, the UI, the UX is kind of clunky, but it's a very useful tool that allows you to, to send clean uh, multivariable emails straight from your, your Gmail inbox. Definitely recommend.